New at five in Butler County, a man is facing a serious criminal charge after a one year old child in his care sustained some serious injuries. Michael Ambergy's arraignment took place today and Ken Brown was in the courtroom. He joins us live in Hamilton. So what happened in court today, Ken? Uh, well, guys, it's not every day that you see the county prosecutor in the courtroom for an arraignment, but that's exactly what happened today. And when you do see him in the courtroom, it typically indicates a case where there's a high level of interest from the community and the general public. Well, Prosecutor Mike Mosier during the arraignment today gave us some insights into the severity surrounding the allegations with this child endangerment case. In the middle of this group of inmates walking into the courtroom this morning is Michael Ambergy. While he faces just one charge, it's a pretty serious one. The 31 year old has been indicted on one count of child endangering. His particular charge is a second degree felony. The prosecutor's office says he was watching and responsible for a one year old child when that child suffered some serious injuries. Under circumstances where he was in control with respect to that child during the time this child received significant bodily injuries bruising from head to toe, including a brain bleed. The prosecutor presented the judge with pictures of some of those injuries as the judge was considering bond for Ambergy. During the time, the brief time that he was in control of this child, claims that he had a black out. The child's mother was in court this morning and was visibly upset during the proceedings. The prosecutor rarely puts an exact amount he's seeking for a bond on a case, but he did have this to say to the judge before bond was set. For the purposes of deterrence, a significant bond will send a significant message. While it's not a consideration for bond, the prosecution believes it would send a significant message to anybody that's going to do this to a child. Judge Keith Spath set Ambergy's bond at $85,000. If he bonds out, he'll be placed on a GPS monitoring device. Another condition put on him is he's not to have any contact with the victim or the victim's mother in this case. Amberg is scheduled to be back in court for a pretrial hearing on November 2nd. Reporting live in Hamilton, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now. Ken, thanks.